crazy high felony, right. and then they're given an opportunity to plead. Now, here's the thing. Here's why people should never cop a plea. Never, ever, ever, ever. It's, co it's costly either way. But here's what happens, and this is what Wester and his partners did to many people, and they're doing it today. It will happen today somewhere in this region. Okay. Let's say they charge someone with grand theft, drug protect, possession, whatever, any, anything you want to imagine, high-level high felony, let's call it. They give them an opportunity to plea now. Under the cover of um, how they call it, um, proactive, being proactive. But see, they offer a plea. They offer a plea. And then, for the record, they the judge asks you, you know, confirm to me you were not coerced, you were not promised anything, you, there was no deals of, no, 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 you know, did you actually commit this crime? And then they shrug their shoulder and say, you know, and they look around the room and go, and go, and they go, you know, kind of, you said you'd agree, so now you stand before the judge, the judge has made you say that no one offered you something, but someone's offered, someone has offered you something. Right. They have offered you a deal. And then you're required to say no one did. That's, a, that's fraud. That's fraud by way of concealment. The whole orchestration of that scheme is fraud. Okay, people need to know that. But when you take the plea, anyone, and when I say you, it's just the people out there. When someone takes the plea, you're saying, I did the felony, but I'm pleading to the misdemeanor, uh, time served, and 12 months probation. Okay? What Wester was doing very often is while they were rolling down the road, doing a good deed, there was a couple of people. Um, the I job. have a, a yeah, yeah, yeah. crime of dishonesty myself. Right, right. but, but see, see, here's the thing. As you're rolling down the road, stick with me on this. As the person's rolling down the road, Wester stops, plants dope on them. They pick up more felonies. They now have a legal encounter, which is it was a violation of probation. Just the encounter, the stop, traffic stop is a violation of probation. Then he plants dope on him. And here's the thing. What people don't understand is nine months ago, you said you did it, even though you didn't. And watch this, as soon as they violate the probation, instead of being guilty of the misdemeanor, you're guilty of the felony. You lose your favored status because you said you did it. So all they have to do, this is the scheme, all they have to do is pick you up for a later minor infraction, mm -hmm. and they get you for the felony because you already said you did it, time's passed, and they got you recorded and saying, I've been offered nothing, I did it. Right. The thing is, so now you got the felony. So here's what, what Wester was doing. One of the schemes he was doing, now people need to understand this, he could take a little piece of straw, cut off soda straw that fits in your hand, uh, some little baggies, little Ziploc baggies, three to six with a rubber band around it, and some sand was all he needed to get a person on three felonies. But since he knew who they were, they were targeted, he could pick them up, frame them with new felonies, now you're in a three felony to 25, 25 year state, the state of Florida. You're going away for life unless you do business with the officer, which means suck his dick or do whatever. Does that happen in that region? Every day. Every day. Every, every day. Every day. You didn't think that. But every day. I mean, I think Wester was doing it three times a day. Three times a day. They're, 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 I mean, Wester was actually pulling young ladies over, look at their driver's license, go away, send her down the road as she's driving away. He would call them on the phone and say, hey, this is Zach Wester. I'm the officer just pulled you over. And he would start getting inside their head saying, I have access to everything. Now, this is what I need you to do for me. You wouldn't say that, but people die. Folks, we are taking great risk here to bring you some rather colorful deceptions from the hoax judicial process you depend on for your civil rights. We need some real life superheroes to share this presentation at a high level with deep commitment. We, we want you to be a part of the judicial revolution coming soon. Help us to help you. Share this with the brightest people you know. This is a modern David and Goliath saga. The uncircumcised 
uncircumcised Philistines will be exposed. The federal judiciary has been weaponized to oppose the nation they serve. Widespread fraud in judicial proceedings are being used to mask a host of judicial racketeering schemes, including schemes by sitting judges committing frauds to conceal motions to impeach the judge and court officers for corruption and offenses. Frauds to suppress material evidence recur often. The lawyers of this nation operating in failure mode are undermining the destruction of this nation. Look at Congress and the Senate, full of lawyers doing what exactly? Attorneys in this country will not risk their career to expose the ongoing repetitive fraud and criminal racketeering by judges and the judiciary. My law career as an attorney, in fact, appears nearing its end. It appears I have nothing to lose. All forms of, of collaboration opportunities on this project will be entertained. Subscribe and share this video to, to receive notice and access to the uncut versions as they come available. We have many opportunities to partner and win. Thank you for your patience and participation in advance. There is something for everyone here. Pray for our success. Feel free to create short TikTok loops from this video and share with the world. Post your TikTok loop below in the, uh, below the original video for extra traffic and subscribe to receive a special access offer. TikTok, TikTok loopers do loops with my Crooked Bastards excerpts and receive an autographed copy of my book, The Answer to Cancer, A Simple Solution for the Western Condition. Bloggers, post your opinion of this epic disaster and tag me in it and we'll respond in kind and send you an autographed book. You twits on Twitter, share your thoughts and tag a, uh, a video to stir the broader friends and followers you have. It is time to take back the nation from parasitic politicians. Feel free to demonstrate your IQ below in the comments and engage others. As we move forward dismantling things opposed to your freedom, we look forward to collaboration opportunities with well-grounded podcasters and power media players. Podcasters, I will reveal fresh, hot evidence in any and every podcast interview if you have me on your show. Also, I will facilitate your efforts to more than double your subscriber base. Fighters for justice must come together. Pray for this effort. The criminal operation being exposed is real. They oppose a national and internet. They pose. They pose an, a national and international threat through widespread systematic abuses of civil and human rights. A massive human trafficking effort underlies this enterprise. If you have the ability to notify the FBI or the DOJ, Department of Justice, please do so. There's a massive cover-up at the Florida governor's office, it seems. This type of cover of color of law scheme in federal judiciary and related entities is a kind of government corruption harming our nation. The citizens have no means to correct it, and the attorneys are complicit with the schemes because they will not risk their career to save an, an individual case. Massive failures in the fiduciaries and oaths of office exist. Corruption in law enforcement is rampant with no oversight. At the time of launch, this effort is largely founded and funded by book sales. About the time the federal, state, and local government were revealed as unlawfully targeting and drastically violating my human and civil rights, I was launching a series of self-help books, including this one, CO2 and You, A Release from All Sickness. Thereafter, the governments of the world implemented a system to make you wear things to cover your face, which can lead to CO2 accumulation in your breathe there, thus initiating a series of health issues leading to a host of issues explored in this book. Get the fix, 
presently on Amazon, CO2 and You, A Release from All Sickness by Ted Whidden and Doc Mathia. Link to the purchase is in the description. Watch and pray about retaliation. High-level corruption in law enforcement is protected through re retaliation, framing, extortion, and a host of crimes by law enforcement against citizens as acts of intimidation. Further, those who push unconstitutional concept of proactive patrolling encourages law enforcement to violate your civil rights on the hunch of poorly trained law enforcement. It masks corrupt behavior as a scheme. This is government racketeering. The Wester crimes are examples of what can occur through proactive policing. The governor and anyone pushing this agenda appear at war and in violation of the United States Constitution. Corruption at the federal judge level already impedes your civil rights, yet you will not become aware until you need them and it will be too late. Share this with your, your favorite attorney. Advise them by joining our efforts they could win. However, remind them that all who oppose me are in fact facilitating a $16 billion RICO, which each individual facilitator is responsible for in full. Watch the drama unfold as we move forward towards launching, as we move to, towards launching an attorney referral system to address your civil rights issue. We are currently seeking rap music artists and animators or cartoonists for collaborative projects soon to be released. Subscribe and get ready for the rollout. Share this around the world before it can be taken down. If you post your social if you post this to your social media, then place the link in the comments under the original video. We will reach out to you. Keep in mind, Mr. Whitten is not an attorney. Mr. Whitten is honest, and that may preclude the ability for him to practice law. Whitten has explored legal misdirection and, federal, and corruption in federal, state, and local judiciary and law enforcement. It is seen as his obligation under USC Title 18, Section 4, Misprision of Felony statutes to notify officials and to warn others. This method of notice is being tested because every lawful attempt to report has been met by officials who were and are corrupt in facilitating racketeering crimes of others. Mr. Whitten's mental faculties have been questioned by the state in their attempt to obscure their crimes. The federal government is complicit. See the link below. Publicly filed documents and notice, notices have been obscured repetitively by Magistrate Michael J. Frank, Judge Margaret Casey Rogers, Clerk Jeremy Wright, Florida State's Attorney's Office, and others. See link below. Further to this, sheriffs in the region and, and other corrupt law enforcement began and continue targeting Whitten for pushing back against the color of law crimes against American citizens. See links below. It is with assurance crimes are wise, widespread and patternistic. If Michael J. Franks is involved, it appears from my perspective there's a crime afoot. See link to impeachment below. Keep in mind even lawful actions to further interrupt obstruct or conceal a person's First Amendment rights to expose a RICO or racketeering crime can result in charges for the RICO or racketeering crime. They're all complicit. There are links under our originally posted video that should serve you well. The best is yet to come.